Hey guys, as promised, I uh, got some tips for you to bulk in the barracks and put on, put on some muscle when you live in the barracks because it's tough. You don't have access to, you know, a full kitchen and uh, unless you're breaking the rules, you don't even have a foreman or, um, or a hot plate or any of those things that some of us use when we were in the Marine Corps or whatever branch of service that you're in to bulk when you're in the barracks. So if you don't want to get in trouble, you don't want to use those things, but you still have to get your nutritional requirements in. If you want to build muscle, how are you going to do that? Well, some tips I have for you that I did a lot when I was in the, the barracks is uh, one, don't be afraid to attack the chow hall. Um, you have access to at least three meals a day of good quality and nutrition. So if you're, even if you are on comrades where they're paying you because you can't go to the chow hall, when you can time-wise go to the chow hall, go in like three or four bucks, you can get a pretty well-rounded nutritional meal. If you're trying to bulk, you don't have to worry about being that clean with it. And if you're in the barracks, you're probably younger, so your metabolism isn't like super crappy, like some of us. Um, anyway, that's one tip I have. Another tip is protein shakes. But in your protein shake, add some sort of fatty oil. Uh, coconut oil is what I prefer to use now. Um, it's got a lot of saturated fat MCTs, which are medium chain triglycerides, which are really good fat for helping with nutrient absorption um, with vitamins. And it's really good um, for your body to draw energy from without going too much into detail on the fats. So I like to use coconut oil, um, macadamia nut oil, almond oil. Those are really good choices. Uh, the fat's going to add some calories and it'll get you to your calorie requirement without causing the insulin spike. So typically people are able to stay a little leaner when they add fats. So do your protein shake. Don't be afraid to do your protein shake with like a piece of fruit or whatever and add some fatty oils to that. Um, and then rotisserie chickens uh, were like my huge thing when I was in the barracks. I would go get rotisserie chickens and, you know, depending on where you get them from, sometimes they're big enough to pull like three eight ounce, eight ounce meals from, uh, you know, get a digital food scale. That's something inexpensive that you can't get in trouble for. And um, a lot of times you can, you can pull three eight ounce meals out of one rotisserie chicken. Also, some grocery stores have um, pre-boiled, uh, hard-boiled eggs that come all peeled and everything. So that's a really good way to get some of your fats and protein in from the eggs. Um, and don't be afraid to ask your friends if you can cook at their house, because I did that a whole bunch when I was in the barracks trying to get the meals in. Um, guys, the married guys who had a place where they could do it were sympathetic to the needs occasionally and didn't care if I came over like on a Saturday and cooked most of my meals for the week. That helped you save some money. So that's really it on tips for bulking in the barracks. Hope that helps. And um, if you have any other questions about it or you want me to go into more detail on fats and what they mean for a bodybuilder, uh, hit me up and I'll go a little more into depth on those things.